Hi everyone, what I have for you today is an easy and vibrant dessert platter that is also more or less on the healthier side. It consists of a fruit terrine, fruit and date roll skewers and optionally chocolate cake. I'm going to be using various fresh and frozen fruits and since we are trying to keep things practical for this one, I'm also including a few store-bought items like jam, vegan dark chocolate and ready-made date rolls from Natural Delights which are available in the fresh produce section of grocery stores in Canada and the US. For the fruit terrin, I'm using fresh orange and some mixed frozen berries. So start by peeling and segmenting the orange. To do this, cut the top and bottom of the orange. Take off enough to expose the pulp. Then place the orange flat on the board and run the knife under the rind as close as possible to the pulp to remove the pith. Work your way all around the orange to remove all the rind. You can come back on spots that you've missed to remove all the pith. To remove the segments, work over a bowl to catch the juice. Insert a knife on each side of each segment to make a V-cut in between the membranes. Once all the segments are removed, squeeze the remaining pulp to extract all the juice. Keep the juice for later to dilute the jam. Arrange the segments on the bottom of the loaf pan. I am using a mini loaf pan which will provide 4 to 5 servings as part of the platter. Apart from oranges, I am using mixed frozen berries. You can use any fruits that are available to you, but some fruits like kiwi fruit, pineapple, fresh figs, papaya, mango and peaches may prevent the jelly from setting because of the acidity and some enzymes in the fruits. You can sometimes solve this by cooking them first. So set the fruits aside while we prepare the jelly. For this, I am using agar agar as the gelling agent. If you're not familiar with agar agar, it is extracted from a species of red sea algae and is used in many Asian preparations, especially desserts and drinks. The one I have here is in the form of strands, but other form available are bars, flakes and powder. I have used 2.5 inches of strands, or about 4 grams, added to 310 ml of water in a saucepan. I like to use vanilla beans for this dessert as the flavor is more intense, but you can also use a good quality vanilla extract. You can add one tablespoon of maple syrup or sugar, but if the fruits are sweet enough, you can leave this out. Place the saucepan on medium temperature and allow to heat up until the agar agar is completely dissolved. Once all agar agar is dissolved, allow the liquid to boil for another full minute. Remove from the heat and pour immediately and evenly around into the loaf pan to fill all the spaces and cover all the fruits. Do not disturb the pan or the agar agar may fail to set. Allow to cool and then refrigerate for at least 4 hours or overnight. To make the fruit and date roll skewers is pretty straightforward. You can use any fruits you like and cut the larger ones into bite-sized cubes. The date rolls from Natural Delights are actually chopped medule dates, compressed into a paste and rolled. They are then spiced and or rolled in nuts or coconut flakes. They just have two to three ingredients, dates and either coconut or other nuts and spices depending on the flavor. So if you want to keep it healthy during the holiday season, they make a pretty good treat since they are naturally sweet and full of fiber. Dates actually have more potassium by weight than bananas, so for me they make a pretty good snack too. You could leave these skewers as is, but I'm going to make them a little fancier by dipping them halfway in some melted chocolate. Heat some water in a saucepan on medium temperature, then place a metal bowl or another smaller saucepan on top to create a double boiler. Break the chocolate into the bowl and leave it to melt while stirring a few times. Once the chocolate is melted, dip each fruit skewer halfway into it. Then place the skewer on a plate on the side that is not coated and allow the chocolate to harden again.
Once the terrain is set, you can demold it. Run a small knife around the edge, taking care not to bruise the jelly or the pan. Then flip the pan onto a plate. You may need to gently shake it a little to detach the terrain. To accompany the fruit terrain, I'm making a simple sauce by diluting some store-bought jam with the orange juice that we saved previously from the orange. You can use any jam of your choice and thin it out to the consistency that you prefer. To plate the dessert, place a piece of chocolate cake on the side. You can use the recipe for the chocolate pumpkin cake that I shared previously. Smear a little of the diluted jam. Using a very sharp knife, carefully slice the terrain. Then place the slice onto the jam. Garnish with mint leaves and some lime zest. This really brings out the flavor and adds a refreshing touch of color. I don't know about you, but I find that desserts always look fancier when there is more than one thing on the plate for you to set your eyes on and then decide which one to take a bite in first. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can always find the text version of the recipes on our website at veganlovely.com. Stay tuned for more holiday recipes.